Hey guys, my name is Raylan McDermott Phillips, PDJ number 77949, and I'd like to show you what's in my bag for the 2019 season. I like to say that I carry discs from understable to overstable as any other player would, but I like to have the same stability throughout my entire bag. So basically I'll have a stability for a disc and then have that same stability in a mid-range barrel driver and a distance driver. And that's pretty much how I make my bag. Um, I'd like to carry one to two molds for distance drivers to mid ranges. Sometimes I get up to three molds. And yeah. So let's start with going through discs that come in and out of my bag. Right now I have three discs. I have a Titanium Nuke OS. It's very dependable, really great in wind shots. It's one of my most overstable discs in my bag. Um, I love throwing it for skip shots and just something that I need to hyzer for and or back in. Next up I have a Big Z Nuke. Um, this I use this for just all out distance on the course and in the field. Uh, for me it's kind of understable. I can put it on quite a bit of hyzer, throw it really hard, and then it'll flip up, flip up to Anheuser and just right Anheuser and then come back on hyzer. Just a perfect hyzer flip to turnover disc. That's my kind of distance. I'm more of a um, spin player I guess you could say. I don't put a lot of torque on the disc but I can put quite a bit of spin on it if that makes sense. And next up I have a ESP Force. Uh, this disc is overstable. If I put it on a hyzer, it'll hold a hyzer. If on an anhyzer, it'll hold the anhyzer for a little bit of the flight and then fade back and flat and then come out. This is a really nice disc and a headwind. I like throwing this force for straight shots into like a 20 to 25 mile an hour headwind. And it'll just hold straight and won't flip over. And it's really nice. Now let's get into my distance drivers. I carry five discs at the moment, cranks and forces. I have this TI Nate DOS force. It's my most, besides the Titanium Nuke OS, it's my most overstable distance driver in my bag. I really like to throw it for nice hyzers, backhand or forehand. Uh, it's very dependable in wind, up to 30 miles an hour. Past that, it gets a little bit sketchy, but otherwise, for most normal situations, I love this disc for an overstable distance shot has nice skips and all. Next up I have this Z-Line Force pop top, pretty domey. I like to use this for power hyzer shots or shots I can throw flat and then have fade off at the end like a hyzer, just a straight up hyzer shot would, but I get a little bit more distance out of it. And I like to use this for also max distance forehands um, on a flex over line. So really love this disc. Next up, I have cranks. Um, this is my most over understable crank. Uh, definitely don't want to throw this in headwind. I like to use this for very controlled hyzer flip shots, hyzer flip to flat, or hyzer flip to turnover. Um, this is my first crank, and I have thrown some pretty far shots with this. Now, though, if I want to, if I throw it hard enough, I can throw this on a roller. That tells you how understable this is. So. Um, I still really love it though, especially for wood shots, wood distance shots. This is the best. Next up, I have my Tim Barham the Tour Series crank. This one is a little bit more stable than the pink Z line crank that I have. I can throw it on a little bit of hyzer. It'll flip up to flat and ride turnover for just a little bit and then come out at the end. Um, this is my controllable distance disc. I like to throw this for anywhere between. 400 to 430 that's about normally what my max distance is for golf shots anyway I can not throw farther but and not consistently so I like to pull this disc out for those shots and next up I have a big Z crank I like to use this for just very straight shots I can throw this thing on a touch of hyzer and have it flip up to flat or I can throw it flat and ride right just a hair uh, this is very controllable it holds whatever angle I put it on uh, I would say this is a very workhorse disc but it's definitely not my most thrown distance driver. Probably the purple crank that I showed you, the Tim Barham one, or this one are my most thrown. But probably more so the purple crank that I just showed you. And after distance drivers, let's talk about my fairways. I also carry five fairway discs, ranging from very understable to very overstable. I bag a ESP Heat for get out of treble shots that I need to like have a turnaround shot, throw it on a hyzer and get some distance. 
had a basically a very awkward stance. I also love to throw this on rollers for more control rollers. Um, it's just a very nice disc. It doesn't come out a lot, especially on more open courses or when it's windy, but I still like to keep it in the bag because you'll never know what's going to happen on the course. And then I carry two vultures, one an ESP, one Big Z. Uh, I've had this vulture for at least a few months now. It's gotten beat in to the point where I can throw it on hyzer, it'll hyzer it for flat, or if I throw it on annie, I'll just hold it in annie. And I love this fairway driver. It's been one of my favorites to throw. It's very straight, very reliable. Um, feels great in my hand. And it's very versatile as well. It can go just as far as a distance driver can, in my opinion, with all of its glide. And then next up, the Big Z Vulture. Um, this one's just a little bit more stable. I can throw it flat and have it fade out at the end. I can throw it a little bit of ante and it'll hold straight and fade out straight. Um, disc is very dependable on wind especially. Uh, I just recently got it but it's becoming uh, very dependable to throw for most situations. Next up I have a, I'm not sure honestly what the plastic is but it is a Mantis. I think it's the FLX and I really love this disc for overstable uh, control shots. I use this for when I need to get the most distance out of an overstable disc that I can for fairways. I like throwing it for forehand, I like throwing it for backhand. It's just very dependable and it has quite a bit of skip and um, spike depending on what angle you throw it on. So I really like the Z Mantis or the ZFLX Mantis, whatever, for those shots. Next up, I have a Z Predator. This is my favorite disc, I'd say, for. Um, consistency with fairways. It's very overstable, very reliable. It has great skip depending on what angle you put it on or great uh, spike depending on what angle you want or what angle hits the ground on. It's very consistent and it's board flat which I love personally about overstable fairways. Um, it's hard for me to throw a fairway driver that's really domey and overstable just doesn't mentally feel right for me. Um, and I'm just really comfortable with the Predator in general, along with the Mantis and all my other discs. Really great disc. And next up, my mid ranges. Again, I carry five mid ranges. I carry Comets, Buzzes, and Buzz OSs. Let's start with the Comet. Shout out to Haley Kane. Her tour series, Fundraiser Disc, is super sick. Um, I've been loving this Comet for very pretty understable shots. Um, I don't pull it out a lot in wind. I have other understable discs for wind shots. But otherwise, I can carve lines with this thing and not to throw it super hard. Um, it's very fun to throw. And I'll pull it out every once in a while, but usually I use this for wood courses or wood courses. Again, shout out to Haley Kane, another disc that I got from her. This is just a Z-Line Buzz. It's pretty understable now. I can put it on a hyzer for hyzer flip shots. Um, put it on Anheuser, it'll write Anheuser, put it flat, it'll start to turn for the majority of the flight and then fade flat. I really like this disc, very dependable, very flat in my hand, which I like. Can't say enough. It's a buzz, it's gonna be good. And next I have an ESP buzz with the Paul Macbeth stamp. I like to use this for very straight shots. Shots I need to hold an angle, hyzer, straight, and hyzer. This disc, this mid range goes very far for being a buzz. Um, I throw it anywhere between 300 feet to 350 feet. Very straight, very dependable, lots of glide, and the buzz is just fun to throw. Next up, I have my Swirly Glow ESP Nate DOS Buzz. It's just a hair bit more overstable than the ESP Buzz with the Paul stamp. Um, I like to use it when it's a little bit windier, but I still need straight shots or straight mid-range shots. Very stiff. Love the color. Super pretty swirls. Again, it's just a more overstable version of the ESP Buzz or the Paul stamp Buzz for windier days. And next up, I have a TI FLX Buzz OS. Um, this is my overstable mid-range. I throw it on hyzer. It stays hyzer, forehand or backhand. Very dependable in wind, and I love having the trust in this disc. Kind of like the Bigger Brother 2 zone. If not, maybe a hair bit less stable in this plastic, but I've thrown other 
Plus OS's and different plastics that are more stable that I'm looking to get some of soon. Next up, let's talk about my throwing putters. I carry two zones and two challengers. I love the X soft challenger for understable approach shots that I can throw on a hyzer, have them flip up to flat, or put on an anhyzer and ride anhyzer. The X soft plastic also sticks to the ground very well, great for approach shots. Next up, I have the ESP challenger. My straight throwing putter. I can throw this flat, hyzer, or anhyzer, and it will hold that angle no matter what. It's becoming one of my favorite throwing putters. And when it gets a little sketchy with that, so when I step up to my Pro D zone, this thing flies like the SP Challenger in swirly to 15 mile an hour headwinds. I can throw it flat, it'll stay flat and finish out. And with no wind, I can focus on a little bit of Annie, and it'll just push flat on Annie and then slowly fade out and then finish straight just like the ESP Challenger would and the Pro D Plastic st sticks to the ground very nice and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite throwing putters. Next up I have the 2018 Lead Shown Edition Color Shift Zone. This one is a little bit more stable than the Pro D Zone and it's very good for skipping on the ground for backhand or forehand shots and this is just a very great approach disc in general, very dependable and reliable. And next up, what I putt with. Right now, I'm putting with Jawbreaker Challengers. They come under my hand, hands very clean and very smooth. They hold any angle I put them on for putts. And for longer putts, they have a very high amount of glide. So I can put them on a little bit of high and then flip up to the flat just to pair. And then go for a very long time up in the air while I'm putting. Um, I'll jump putt with these within 130 feet and they're just very reliable and very dependable out of my hand and they just feel great and I'd like to thank my sponsors Nashville Disc Golf Store and Chain Bane um, and I'd also like to shout out Team Group Chat an amazing group of people and I'm glad to be friends and know all of them and then let's go into some extras in my bag first off Gotta carry that water bottle, drink that water, don't be dehydrated. Dehydrated? That's new. And I also like to carry uh, weightlifting chalk. It's way better for me personally than using um, birdie bags, dirt bags, whatever you want to call them. They give me the most amount of grip uh, that I can possibly get. I also carry this little um, pouch that I got from Junior Worlds of 2018. Uh, it just holds all my stuff, my wallet, my keys, um, portable charger, everything else I need. It's just great to be able to keep all of your stuff in one spot. And I also carry an exercise band in my bag because I feel like being able to stay mobile on the course and be loose is the most important for uh, taking strokes off your game. I feel like after keeping my shoulders um, more mobile and having more mobility in them has helped me throw and play a lot. And that's what I'll be throwing or having in my bag for the 2019 season. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like, comment, and subscribe to join me more.